This is Colin O'Keefe for LXPN TV. As we wrap up, you know, this is just one of the last sessions here at Legal Tech New York 2012. I'm speaking with Daniel Martin Katz, professor at the U Michigan State University College of Law. Uh, starting off, you gave a, a presentation on using data to make quantitative legal predictions. How does that differ from predictive coding? Can you just touch on what you covered in your session today? Well, predictive coding is typically used in something like e-discovery where people want to find documents that are relevant to uh, a particular matter. Um, what I was talking about is something uh, predicting what will happen in a case. So quantitative legal, that is a form of prediction that's, that's quantitative and relevant to law. But when I say quantitative legal prediction, I'm pr generally speaking about predicting the outcomes in a case, predicting how much a case will cost. These are the types of things, if we think about the business of law, that um, general counsels want to know, law firms want to want to know, um, other types of litigants want to know, they want to know how much is this thing going to cost and how, what's our chances of winning. And so the idea is to take some of similar ideas that, that are being used in something like e-discovery or predictive coding and apply them to the question of how do we actually make predictions. Mm -hmm. So um, for example, um, humans make predictions all the time and they have a way of doing it. They say, oh, I, I have all these prior disputes I've been involved in and in, I think in this one, this is what's likely to happen. And all what we want to try to do is use quantitative methods to do a similar sort of thing. I see. So how do you think, you know, law firms have vast libraries of data available to them. How can they leverage that information to, to make these types of predictions? Well, I think the key to the whole thing is to, to ask this basic question, which everybody has to ask, even if they're going to do a qualitative prediction, which is to say, what prior events are similar to the event we're, we're, we're dealing with right this second? And there's, you know, there's this sort of more general term for this is the science of similarity, which is actually attempting to formalize what it is we're doing when we try to answer that question. How do we say all those cases in the past, which ones are actually like the one I'm working with right now? Because most of them typically are, are not going to be like the one I'm working with. Okay. That makes sense. And lastly, you know, what are you working on at, at Michigan State University? Well, we're working on a, a variety of uh, projects uh, that are relevant to what's happening here at Legal Tech. We're particularly focused on on, on three things. One is quanti this quantitative legal prediction, training our students in quantitative methods. Uh, second thing is information technology, which is related to this, but slightly different. Information technology in the business of law. And the third thing, which we're really excited about, is we actually have um, the first of its kind summer school starting, a uh, su summer uh, program uh, in London. And London's really exciting because uh, uh, they're, they're having the first uh, all what they call alternative business structures, which is uh, a companies owning law firms. So Walmart law, Tesco law at the retail level, um, quality solicitors is a well-known one, quite a few others. Uh, and so we want to get our students in that space because it's really where a lot of the innovation is happening, happening over across the pond, perhaps coming here soon. Yeah, it's interesting to watch. I read an article about that just recently. So it'll be interesting to watch going forward. Well, once again, I'm speaking with Daniel Martin Katz of Michigan State University, professor there. Thanks for your time here. And of course, for more interviews from Legal Tech New York 2012, be sure to visit lxpn.lexblog.com. Thank you. Thanks a lot.